Hello, and my name is Jacqueline O'Leary, and I'm one of the transplant hepatologists at Baylor University Medical Center in Dallas. And in the August issue of Clinics in Gastroenterology and Hepatology, our group has published a paper entitled, Patients with NASH and Cryptogenic Cirrhosis are less likely than those with hepatitis C to receive a liver transplant. For this paper, we evaluated uh, all patients who were referred to Baylor University Medical Center with a diagnosis of NASH and cryptogenic cirrhosis and compared them to the hepatitis C patients. Specifically, 415 NASH cryptogenic cirrhosis patients and 1,232 hepatitis C patients were evaluated between March of 2002 and May of 2008. Forty-eight percent of each group was denied. NASH cryptogenic cirrhosis patients were older, more likely to be female, had a higher BMI, a lower GFR than their hepatitis C counterparts, and 72 percent were denied for comorbid conditions. Of the hepatitis C patients who were evaluated, 27 percent were denied for comorbid conditions, and 39 percent were denied for psychosocial reasons. We then compared the patients who ended up being listed in the two cohorts. The 217 NASH cryptogenic cirrhosis patients were older, more likely to be female, had a higher BMI, and were much more likely to have concomitant diabetes and hypertension than their 645 listed hepatitis C counterparts. Despite these differences, the two groups' liver disease was comparable in severity as their MELD scores and child Tricot pew scores were equivalent. Overall, patients with NASH and cryptogenic cirrhosis were less likely to receive an orthotopic liver transplant than their hepatitis C counterparts, specifically 48% versus 62%. And not only were NASH cryptogenic cirrhosis patients less likely to receive a transplant, but more likely to die or be delisted for being too sick. However, this was not uniform across the entire population. NASH cryptogenic cirrhosis patients with a MELD score less than or equal to 15 were less likely to be transplanted than their hepatitis C counterparts. They also progressed at a slower rate. The median MELD progression was 1.3 MELD points per year versus 3.2 MELD points per year in the hepatitis C infected patient population. In stark contrast, NASH cryptogenic cirrhosis patients listed with a MELD score greater than or equal to 16 had an equivalent likelihood of receiving an orthotopic liver transplant compared to their hepatitis C counterparts. We then turned and evaluated hepatocellular carcinoma. Patients with NASH and cryptogenic cirrhosis developed hepatocellular carcinoma at a rate of 2.7% per year versus the hepatitis C patients where the risk was considerably higher at 4.7% per year. In conclusion, patients with NASH and cryptogenic cirrhosis and a low MELD score have slower disease progression than patients with hepatitis C associated cirrhosis and are less likely to receive an orthotopic liver transplant. Thank you for listening.